In response to an unexpected surge in COVID-19 patient cases over the next couple weeks ahead, hospitals in Oregon are now planning for a shortage of supplies, things like masks and gloves. Fox 12's Brenda Kelly reports from Multnomah County with words of warning from healthcare experts. It's no secret. Personal protective gear is in short supply. Not only is it important for people showing COVID-19 symptoms to have it, it's also vital for healthcare workers to have supplies so they can treat critically ill patients. Health officials stress the decisions we make as a community right now in regards to social distancing could help slow the number of serious cases. In turn, that can help with shortage of protective gear. Multnomah County Health Officer Dr. Jennifer Vines addressed the limited supply this morning, saying the way supplies are being used right now could mean they'll all be gone in two weeks. I talked to the director of the Center for Global Health at Oregon State University. He says, as a country, we did not take this seriously and we were not prepared. We can consider this as our World War III and our enemy is a virus and we are fighting for our survival. And if you have that mindset, then we will spare no resources to fight this. And if we treat it that way, the government will prioritize every available resources to fight this disease. And that's the same thing I'm urging both our state and federal government. Health officials said yesterday the state could be short 1,000 hospital beds and 400 ICU beds if the spread of COVID-19 is not slowed. Hospitals formed a new regional health system to tackle issues like that. Right now, they're trying to figure out creative solutions to protect those working on the front lines of this pandemic. One of those includes metro area hospitals postponing non-essential surgeries. Some of them have already canceled these. Others are going to be doing that later this week. Reporting in Multnomah County, Brenna Kelly, Fox 12 Oregon.